We're joined now by Gold Line quarterback Skyler Perry. Who counted How you four, doing? Five touchdown passes, career high, four touchdown passes in the contest. On the game, he was 16 of 33 for 201, career high time, four touchdown passes. Also ran for a touchdown, five total touchdowns to lead UAPB to a 36 31 win. Scholars, congratulations, if you will, starts with opening statement on what it means to be Swag West champions. Um, thank you. Um, it means a lot to see the progress of the program and throughout all the changes, changes things like that. But I always remember when I first got here, um, a lot of people always talking about keeping faith, you know what I'm saying? UAPB hasn't done this since 2012, you know what I'm saying? And even with Coach T and Coach, Coach Gamble saying it, like, it was like, it won't always be like this. And I always remember that. So, like, even in 2019, we came out 6-5. and five, I was like, okay, so that's a step forward, you know what I'm saying, going from 2-9 to 6-5. and five. So we see that we have, we have something to build up on. And, you know, COVID hit, so that pushed a lot of things back, you know what I'm saying? Not too much person to person. And – Learn had to learn things, basically adjusting and adapting to the situation. And we just it, it shows that all our work that we put in is paying off. Even though I still feel like we haven't even played our per, a perfect well, not gonna say perfect, but our best game yet. And that and that's what that's what kind of gets me at the end of some of these games. I'd be like, okay, we just doing as long as we keep doing our job. But at the end of the day, we still have things we can work on. But it's a great accomplishment to know that we. Accomplish one of our major goals from the season. Question now from IC Morrell. Uh, I, I really don't have a question, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. uh, yeah. Over James Hill. Hey, Skyler, congratulations. Is it is it a sense of accomplishment or is it a sense of relief? I mean, how do you look at uh, the greatness that you guys are displaying in Golden Lions football? Almost definitely accomplishment because, um, like I said, like I said prior to your question, um, it things it hasn't been a winning culture around here, and I felt like long as we believe in each other, believe in our coaches, and our coaches put us in the best situation to win, that we can do it. And all the hard work is showing off, and it's paying off for us. So you're one victory away from that SWAC championship trophy and bringing that back to campus. Can you talk about uh, just what you would like to see between now and then? And, uh, you know, just, just your thought process. Um, empty the bucket, been the culture all since Doc Gamble took, Coach Gamble took over. Empty the bucket. So we going to keep on doing that, keep on locking it mentally. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of penalties. So we got to play more, much cleaner football, um, better execution, of course. Um, and... Just keep having fun mainly because it's, it's, it's a lot of fun winning. You can't get, you can't get tired of winning. It's not it too much fun like, losing at all. Looks like you guys have a lot of weapons. I mean, you guys are scoring, moving the ball, and, and, and really putting your stamp on the ball game. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, sir. Um, that's the main That's the main thing we still have. I feel like we still have to work on it, is finishing people off and keep imposing our will. Because I feel like a lot of a lot of teams, you know what I'm saying, we have the capability of scoring a lot of points with the weapons we have and the play calling of our coaches, which I'm thankful for because they put us in the best situations to make plays. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Any other questions for quarterback Skylar Perry? Dr. Cavill, go ahead. Yes, uh, Alex, I wanted to ask you about the maturation of yourself and the team. What are the some of the key components that you believe that really went into the maturation of the team that have changed so many things over the last three or four years? Um, I feel like that us growing to growing bonds off the field and understanding what needs to be done. Like it was, it was a lot of my, I, remember, I can remember my freshman year, it was a lot of distractions and things like that. And I felt like, like it took us time to the, get comfortable around each other and kind of grow up, you know what I'm saying? Because things that happened was kind of childish and it would mentally take you out of the task at hand. But see, as you see the past year and this year, a lot, a lot has been a lot more focused because we see what we could build on. We see all the potential and now we're showing off. Yeah, I was just asking in regards to all the weapons that you have on the offensive side of the ball. Some people in the league would argue that you have the best three receivers in the league and maybe across the country. 
Uh, you're able to run the balls uh, very efficiently. Just talk about how nice it is to be able to play with all the offensive weapons you have around you. Um, it's great, you know what I'm saying? Because those guys work hard day in, day out. Um, and we try our best to get those guys the ball in many variety of ways as possible because we know they're big time playmakers and they know all we have to do is get them the ball in their hands and they're going to do what they do best to make plays. Thank you. That was the final question I had. Thank you. Skyler, you've, you've been through a lot in this program. If you could put into words what it means to go from 90 to 6 to a Swag West championship? Man, I'm, um, I say hard work, you know what I'm saying? And actually just being in Pine Bluff, like, you know, like being around, you hear people talk about the past, about 2012 and all the bad things and things like that. But I always tell my guys, like, don't feed into that, you know what I'm saying? Because we know, we know that our destiny lies within us. Everybody in this, everybody in this field house, this athletic facility, and us putting in work, understanding what we need to do, executing, and getting the job done was the main focus. Like, and I even go back to go back to telling some of my high school stories because I was, I won back to back state championships at my high school, and there's a lot of guys that come from. Decent, decent winning programs also. So, and there's some guys that don't that don't know how it feels to win. So I'm really more was doing that for some of the guys that don't know how it feels to win, and the building steps and being within a program that they thought they was coming into a losing program and things like that, and just keeping them on a positive note. Um, and it's been a lot of try and triumphs, but <laughs> I'm about to say I kind of lost the words because when we won, I didn't. Even, I like I went numb a little bit. Like I didn't even know. Like I couldn't really believe it that going from two and nine, like you said, the nine to six, like that was that was I never seen nothing like that. And I just I I give hats off to my coaches and my teammates. Any final questions for Skylar Perry? Yes, I have one. Let me jump back here. One final question I did want to jump back into. Um, you have Alabama AM ranked 25 in the national polls. You have Southern that you defeated early in the season ranked in the top 25 FCS poll. Um, however, in a lot of HBCU football polls, Pine Bluff is ranked number one. Do you ever get a chance? I know you're focused so much on the game. Do you ever look at the poll rankings and, and see what's going on? And do you think this is another statement that may get – the Golden Lions ranked in the top twenty-five. I mean, I, I really don't. I really don't like to feed into those type of things because I like to make sure in-house is taken care of first. Because uh, as long as, long as controlling the controllables is the main thing. Like you only can control what you can control. That's not in our destiny. So we're just gonna keep doing our job, and hopefully they see that we're worthy to be in the rankings. Or, or if not, we're just gonna keep doing what we have to do. No doubt. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Any final questions for quarterback Skylar Perry? Skylar, thanks for joining us. Congratulations again. Thank you. Y'all have a good night.